Hi guys, welcome back. Ryan here from the London Craftsman and thanks for watching. And today's video is all about workshop lighting. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the benefits of changing your lighting in your workshop. Um, we're gonna be running over the type of bulbs, the type of fittings. We're gonna be talking specs how long they last, how much they're gonna cost you over their lifetime. Tons of useful information and stuff that you probably wanna hear um, to improve your own workshop. We're also gonna be showing you start to finish. So as you can see, it's yellow light behind us. We're gonna be starting um, to change the bulbs and change them to the daylight bulb. So going on a bit, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> So we're starting on the workshop side, um, just because I want to show you the lights. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit yellow. It's because we've got um, warm white bulbs in at the moment. Um, we've had warm white bulbs in um, both sides for a couple of years now, and they work absolutely fine. But we just want to upgrade to improve the quality. Um, for example, we want to see details of paint, the color of the oils that we're applying. When we're constructing carcasses, we want to get in there and we don't want to we don't want to have a dark spaces or, you know, even for filming as well. Um, we want to improve the light for the filming. So tons of reasons why we do want to change. And we think that changing to daylight bulbs is going to improve the workshop tons. So going back, as I just went off track, um, we've got the warm white in here. Have a look round. Take it all in because at the end, I'm going to be showing you the transformation from warm white to daylight. So. It's all doable lights. In that room, in the workshop, we've got 20 bulbs, remember? In this one, we've got 23 bulbs. Um, but in this room, we've got yellow OSB walls, which the light doesn't reflect as well. But on the upside, we've got white floors. So the white floors sort of reflects the light. So both sides are as light as each other. In here, we've got two nice big windows. And we've also got two Pretty decent sized skylights, a meter 1.2 long by about 400 wide, one above the spray booth and one on this side as well. So equaled itself out. We sort of tried to, when we built this place, we tried to spread the light, light, light over. This is why we put the skylights over to that side because we've got windows on this side. So we've got a fair amount of lights. So all these bulbs that you, we do have are GU10 fittings and they are Quite a common fitting. They fit in most downlighters. And they are fire rated because back in the day we did have halogens in them, which are, you know, you get quite warm. We don't want to get that space warm and have a danger. So we did have fire rated downlighters. But they're all LED now just to reduce um, power consumption, give us a better overall light. Technology and LEDs have come a long way over the past 10, 15 years and the quality of the light is so much better than they were. So, Let's take a little walk down here again. So other lights you can use, you can use tube lights, for example, fluorescents, which I didn't opt for at the beginning just because they get in the way. I like, like nice, clean, contemporary feel. You have a look round, nothing in its way. All my storage is on the walls, nice, clean, open space. Everything's got a place. Now this is what led me to use down lights, a bit like the speakers in my ceilings, they're concealed, not in the way, my few, Fuse board is over there in the corner. Can you see in the ceiling that flap? That's where my fuse board is. So there, that is my reason for using the downlighters. Um, also, when I'm working around, you know, I've only got a certain amount of floor space. Floor to ceiling is 2.5, exactly. Um, planning, obviously, planning permission mean, meant I couldn't go any higher, which means I am limited for space and height. So if I'm standing up eight foot sheets, I don't want to be knocking the tubes. Within the first day, I would have smashed up all my lights. So downlighters are a must for me. Um, they're relatively cheap. Um, you can get the GU10 LED fittings in them. Happy days. So other specs, or we want to talk about the color of your light bulbs. So what you see at the moment are warm white. I'm trying to change to more like what you see outside. Nice and bright, natural light, daylight. And so the difference between the bulbs is the bulbs that we've got at the moment are 2700K or Kelvin, I believe, which is the temperature. So the temperature determines the color. 
The higher we go with the temperature, the more lighter and brighter it gets. For example, if you go to around 4000, I think that is more of a cool white, sort of like a bluey, um, light tone to them, no more yellow. The bulbs that we're changing um, today are going to 6500K, which is daylight, which replicate the outs outdoors, apparently. I'm not a professional at lighting by any means, but it's all the research that I've done. This is what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to be changing the bulbs over, all 43 of them, giving you um, a glimpse of what it's like now to what it will be. Hopefully it will help you decide what kind of light bulbs you want to go for. Okay, so these are the bulbs I've got in my ceiling right now. They're LEDs. They're from Wix. They're five watts, warm whites and they are 350 lumens, right? And they aren't bright enough for me. So I'm swapping to these new ones here that you can see. These are 380 lumens, which are slightly brighter, but they've got the higher temperature. Daylight is what I want, so it's a plus plus. So I'm going up on the amount of light they give out and the type of light that they give out. So in theory, this should be nice, bright space. You can get different types of LEDs, like these Chinese ones I bought off eBay. Um, I would suggest if you are buying bulbs of any kind, buy them from a shop rather than eBay or Amazon, just because you just don't know what you're getting, unless they're branded, for example, Philips light bulbs or anything like that. So beware with the bulbs that you buy, because at the end of the day, they are electrical and you can buy dodgy electrics. Um, halogens are really expensive to run. These particular ones, are oh, they're still GU10 fittings, but they're 50 watts. These old bulbs are five watts, so 10 of these equates to one of these, but they give off the same amount of light. It's absolutely amazing, the difference. The heat that these give off is amazing as well. They'd probably work, heat my workshop up if I kept them in. I wouldn't even need heat in them at the moment. So stay away from halogens if you can, is that, my, that is my word of advice. So you probably wanna know how much they're gonna cost to run, um, how long they're gonna last. So. I base it on the specs of my old bulbs, which last 20,000 hours, okay? And just before I took this shot, I realized that my new bulbs last 65,000 hours, which is three times longer. But anyway, worked out my specs, not gonna work out the specs again because it took me bloody ages and I'm crap at maths. So the specs I have here are 20,000 hours, okay. Look at the, look at the spec sheet here, look at all my skibbles. You're not allowed to see that. <laughs> <laughs> right, 20,000 hour bulb um, will last you four and a half years non-stop if you're in your workshop 12 hours a day. So that's you going into your workshop 12 hours a day, day in, day out for four and a half years. If you're in your workshop for 24 hours a day, they will last you two and a half years non-stop, which is, that's a long time, right? That's a long time. So consumption, over the 20,000 hour lifetime of your bulb is only going to consume 100 kilowatt hours, which is peanuts really. I have 43 bulbs, so 100 times 43 is 4,300 um, kilowatt hours. So if we times that um, by 30 pence, which is how much it is, I believe, per hour, for a kilowatt hour, it's gonna cost you 1,290 pounds. £1,290 to power your workshop lighting for the entire life of your bulbs, which is four and a half years, which is 12 hours a day, which is amazing. Let's break that down even further. So over the four and a half years, which is 1,664 days, do anyone want to guess, anyone want to guess how much it is per day for me to run my workshop lighting in and out? Spray roof and workshop, 77p per day. 77p, that's nothing, is it, John? No. Nope. Peanuts. So, specs all done now. Remember, these are better specs, these bulbs. They're going to be even better than the ones that I've got now because I won't need to replace them after 20,000 hours, which is going to save me 50 pounds or whatever it was for me to change these bulbs. 60 pounds, a bit more. So, you're making more savings there over time. So that is all the specs over. I hope that was some help to you. Ta-da! What do you think?
I hope that was some help to you. We are absolutely over the moon with it. It's just so much brighter, as you can tell. No more yellow light. Fantastic. Can't be happier. Um, to be fair, it's very slightly brighter outside, um, but it absolutely makes such a difference. Just have a look around. It's just it just feels like natural daylight throughout the whole workshop. Let's go back through to the spray room, and um, particularly over the booth. How nice and bright it is. Look at the wall, how HD the wall looks now, all this natural light. I can't believe how much better it has improved the overall light so much. Let's compare it because we couldn't manage to do a one bulb, which is actually perfect for the video. Let's see if we can move this out of the way. Right, let's see if we can squeeze the camera up and see the difference there of the bulb in that little cubby. Right, so you go from one side to the other and you can see the yellow glow in there compared to the natural light bulbs. And that yellow is what we had before, the warm white. I just can't believe that we just did it for so long. I can't even remember how many years, two, two, three years we had the yellow light. So a simple fix, 50, 60 pounds for our whole workshop shop spray room. 43 bulbs, 77 pence a day. And I'm guessing the benefits are just gonna, you know, be absolutely amazing. So let's look at our work, for example. All our pieces, nice and bright. You can see the finishes, you can see the sheens on the paint. You can see details, even into the little cubbies. We can, we've got light actually going into the little cubbies so we can actually see. Cannot complain. Little crevices, so even in our little cleaning area, look. Nice bright light, which is usually dull. And I think the most important bit is going to be when we're in the workshop. Well, firstly, over the spray room, that's very important. When we're working over the table saw, that's very important. But when we're working over our benches and we're assembling units and we're doing detailed work, um, even when we're oiling and finishing and we're able to see the finishes and sanding, we'll be able to look that little bit closer and see the quality. Whereas the yellow, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't, it just wasn't good enough for so many, so many years. And uh, I just can't believe I've just kept it like that for so long. So I think the thing that spurred me on was looking at the ceiling. Knowing I've got to replace the ceiling, change the lights. And also we're building a ultimate bench, an all-in-one bench. So we wanted to improve this workshop in every aspect, flooring, the walls, the lighting. So, you know, this is one part of the workshop being revamped um, with hopefully many more to come. Here's the workshop at night time as well. Look how bright it is. It's pitch black outside and we've got all the light that we need from indoors with our daylight bulbs. And it doesn't even feel like um, it's nighttime outside. If I close the door, I wouldn't even know it's nighttime. That's how good it is. There you go, look at the spray book spray booth on that side got no lights on come back in here i haven't even got these lights on either turn it around 20 no not even 20 17 bulbs on here of the daylight bulbs five five watts each and it's absolutely beautiful so i hope that's helped see you in the next one guys take it easy see Bye you later now.